How you doing, Mr. Chairman, members of the board? We are here to seek yeah. funds from the Channel 22 revolving uh, fund for a uh, total upgrade of Channel 22, including the control room and this room in here. Uh, we will be changing from an analog slash dis digital system that we currently have now to a SDI high definition uh, system. Currently, the systems we have now are accumulation of technology from five to 20 years ago. Uh, why HD when we can't put out HD to our, uh, to our viewers at home? Well, the difference between uh, HD and analog right now, there's really not much of any difference. Analog's harder to get. Uh, it, it's technolo technologically inferior. Uh, and oh though we God. won't be able to, to won't be able to uh, put out uh, HD to our viewers, we will be able to stream HD. HD. Uh, there'll be HD in the room. When we have the, if we get it, we'll have two monitors in here. Um, with this, with this new system, <coughs> we will have a much uh, better picture quality. Not that it'll be in HD, but we'll have more pixels, which uh, uh, equates to a better picture. Um, right now, our system, it, it goes, we have many ups and downs, many uh, ups and downs on the system. It'll go from analog to digital, back to analog, back to digital, before it gets to Comcast. With the new system, it'll go from HD, SDI HD to uh, digital one time so you don't get that downgrade you don't get the uh, the poor picture that we do have now also we'll be uh, updating the audio in this room we'll be updating <laughs> the uh, yeah I know that's that would make you happy and also the audio in this room I mean for people in the back so they can hear because right now it's not it's not working the way it should um, we, we understand this is a lot of money. You've all seen how much it is. But this is a, a system that should be useful for the next seven to 10 years. Now, will there be problems? I'm sure there will be. Will there be breakdowns? Sure. But as far as uh, a major expenditure in the next uh, seven to 10 years, I, I don't see it. So this is something I think we need to do. I think we need to upgrade. We need to clean house. Because everything, we, we have a patchwork of equipment in here that constantly gives us problems. Even our channel has been giving us problems every week when we uh, go to close it. Uh, it doesn't let us select the file. It just keeps locking up. Uh, the funds that we're asking from, they, they, don't, they come from, uh, they're derived from fees from Comcast that Comcast subscribers uh, have to pay. Uh, and that's where we get the money. Our current balance, as you heard from the finance director, is five hundred and almost five hundred eight thousand dollars. So, right now, I'm going to turn this over to Rick, and Rick's going to go over the uh, bid process that he put together, and uh, the sections that uh, we we you know we have four options, and uh, each each bidder could bid on each option or all the options or whatever they wanted and he'll go over how it turned out. Hi, good evening. Um, <clears throat> just um, give you a little background. Um, of course, uh, the world um, dictated by the FCC um, went to digital um, in the United States in 2009. Uh, you're on an analog system here um, that's actually an analog system that does not, in fact, um, completely carry analog. I say that because um, equipment no longer is made in the industry, um, so and has been replaced. So that you actually go that problem that Brian mentioned of going from analog to digital to analog to digital to analog to digital um, is is what the outcome of that has been. Um, so when we started to gather requirements for the new system, um, of course, uh, the industry uh, has pretty much gone away from standard deaf equipment. Um, the cost of 
for instance, in an HD camera versus a standard definition camera, they're in fact the, the exact same camera. The only difference is, is that the output module in the camera itself is um, standard def as opposed to HD. The cost difference between the two is $50. Wow. So there's real no reason um, and the industry uh, and the across the industry pretty much everybody has embraced that that it's just as easy to go to HD if you do need uh, standard definition which we will um, for Comcast only um, we can put in a $400 box at the end of the line before we send it to them that converts it and it's done so um, when we collected all the requirements um, around for the things that could be needed to be upgraded here. Um, we started with production system first. Um, we then went to option two, uh, which included some audio upgrades um, that um, mm -hmm. Brian mentioned. Um, we also felt that the, the room definitely needs some, a little more professional look, if you will. Um, so that um, we're replacing, for instance, the, the yellow jacket, I think they call those things, um, yeah. and uh, with something that's a little more ADA um, compliant. We won't trip over it. Mm -hmm. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> it's, as a matter of fact, the ones that um, we specified are only about an, less than an inch tall. So, yeah, it'll be a significant difference to the look of the room. Um, in, in that and that's in option one and option two um, option three we replaced this strip lighting and um, actually go with a little more professional lighting in the room and balance the color of the room so that uh, people will be able to see you a little better um, and then option four we added um, some which is a small cost compared to the rest of it but it adds some audio sound enhancements to the room um, that um, at one time you actually had, or sort of had. And what I mean by that is you have speakers in the room, um, a couple of them. Uh, the, the proper way to do this in the industry now is for them to actually zone the room. So there'll be speakers up front, there'll be speakers in the middle, there's speakers in the back. Um, the microphones, there's a box out there in the, is that actually recognizes where that mic is coming from and shuts off the speaker in that area so you don't get feedback. And you actually, in fact, had one of those um, that uh, unfortunately was removed from the system um, solely because it was um, uh, old. The software that controlled it um, was uh, something that ran in the XP world, Windows XP. Uh, of course, the Windows XP is gone. They didn't upgrade the software to run with anything else because they stopped making the box. Um, what do you do with it? You take it out of your system. So um, that's an example of what's happened over the years here. Um, so we feel that, um, okay, so in the bid process, um, we did break it into options. Not every vendor um, in, uh, integrator out there does everything. Um, so we, knowing that, um, we put it into those options. Um, we had three responses to option one and option two. Um, option three and option four, we only had one response uh, from one of the three vendors that bid on the other section. Um, option one, the low bidder had some problems with his bid um, and um, failed to meet a couple of the requirements. So we disqualified him um, because he didn't cover everything, uh, which put us to the second one. And just by chance, the second vendor happens to be the one that also bid on option three and option four. So that's where we come up with that whole figure from just one vendor. Uh, they'll come in, um, 
different groups or subgroups in that inside that vendor um, like their lighting guy we'll, we'll do the lighting we'll work with him on that um, and we did put out nine bids did you put out well um in in total i think nine packages went out we, we identified nine vendors in the massachusetts slash uh, local eastern massachusetts yeah. um new hampshire and maine area mm. um had several of them come back and just simply say we're too busy so we're not going to um, uh, respond to your bid thank you very much for thinking of it um, and um, and uh, several just ignored us completely which usually happens uh, in, in, this, in this industry Jim you got any questions yeah uh, a lot of the stuff on here is just little stuff yeah cameras lights etc mm -hmm. panels all that the the brains of the operation is what the uh the 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 channel the the ca cable cast yeah that's yeah, yeah the cable cast a tight rope. Is a, uh, we left we left it up to the vendors to determine wh what they would recommend um yeah. because you know uh there's so many yeah. uh if you ever had the chance to go to the nab uh, which is uh, in Las Vegas. It covers the entire Las Vegas. It takes in Las Vegas for an entire week. Um, there's just thousands and thousands of vendors out there. It, it, all three halls are filled. Um, so um, the the bid package was actually designed with the idea of allowing the vendor to utilize his equipment and to look at what he su uh, suggested as the the best solution for our need. And this this would be compatible with what the school's doing. I mean, is it the same? No, but it's no, it's not the same. I know no. that. But no. it's it's com compatible. Would would you be able? To, I mean, would there's we, no problem. Would, would they talk? No, I don't no. believe so. There's is a a a, a, a soft. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. a cast. It's a it's a it's a, it's a uh, software based. This is a hardware based unit. Okay. Yeah. And and. To be honest with you, we talked to Paul, the IT, and he was not comfortable with this because it's too accessible from the outside. So you <coughs> can get through it to get to the town. Okay. So he was not. We, we saw demonstrations on both tightrope. Of course, we have electronics, and uh, they we've lost that. Access AV used to be the vendor for them, but they've since uh, got rid of them. So we don't even know who is the vendor. Around here, uh, tightrope, which is the one they're suggesting, we went to a a, a small um, demonstration up the, in Concord on that, and it was it was an impressive system. And we also Bedford TV, we went there, and they have the system, and they're very happy with it. And we saw how it works there. Uh, it does have the the tightrope system has includes a carousel, which has a, a web cast capability to to create more. We feel that it's going to give us more um, access to information for the for our viewers um, and for the community. And what I mean by that is we'll be able to include um, streaming cameras from the beach to it that's already exist out there. We don't have to recreate anything. We can just reach out and actually take a feed from it and put it put it on the beach. Uh, people during weather, uh, you know, events would yeah. appreciate that kind of stuff. And then, kind of and then we often have problems when somebody comes in with a laptop and they want to make a presentation. Will this make it easy? I mean, we, we won't still be using the no, projector, right? Will. The projector goes away. The screen Monitors goes away. get put, placed here and here, and one right in front of this table so that you guys can see it much better. Um, Actually, mounted below it, below here. Um, so that when they come in with their laptop or their right, thumb drive, or anything, right how do they how do they it connect? Includes pop-ups on the tables, power, um, HDMI connectors. Okay. Yes. yes All sir. right. Okay. Super. Super. So to make it much. Right, and there will be redundancy in the system. This does include two of those tight ropes, so it'll be one in front of the other, mirroring it, in case one goes down. Because we had that problem years ago, where we actually went and bought another electronics. One will. He'll. You can simply, he could, or if I was trained enough, you can go into the, on your computer, go to a, uh, what do you, what do you, one to, uh, to, to one of the routers. One of the routers and hit a couple buttons and boom, you're back on again. So until that one can be fixed. So. And once you get this major upgrade, you then can bring up a, a budget that will yes. be how much it will cost. To maintain you know. that, you, you know, you have your, uh, 
well now we use total info but you're going to have your expenses your your uh, service packages and such that you have to do plus payroll plus all this yes then we can come up with it we're still waiting for the the school to uh, to figure out what they need and you know that's got to come out of the fund too so but as far as us yes that's yeah. what we will do so, so then 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 you could with, when the contract right. comes up you could start talking about the, the fee and okay. cutting it back right. or something right. Right. right this is like like I said it should be uh, seven to ten year cycle you'll have to do it again maybe in seven I don't know to this extent you never know what's what's coming back out there what what new is coming but if it's something if you keep up with it and you keep, keep up with it you'll be all right yeah. but, you know it'll be all new it'll all be the same it won't be like yeah. I said analog and digital everything fighting each other yeah. and thank you together thank you mm. Regina? Um, so you said it's not the same type as the school because same no because again it was it was on they didn't offer it. <coughs> Access AV offers that, and they were they were the third in, in the in the actually a higher bid, higher the highest bid, the highest the bid. And also, I don't know whether we would have gone with that even under the um, advice of, uh, of Paul, because Paul says he's just worried about being broken into. You know, okay. he knows a lot more than that than we do, and he's just really concerned. So about I understand it. with that. Yeah. So ours is more hardware based than the right. more software. Yes, but it's. Going to be much but, more compatible than it is yes, now. I yes, yes. Right. Certainly, it would be more compatible in the actual video formats themselves. Right. That will so be sharing of, of video between right. the schools and in here and going back and forth with things um, should be much better. Right. Yeah. Right now, it wouldn't be. Right now, we, we, you know, we're we're so limited on what this can take in. You have to. If you want to. You have to change it to a certain format for anything to work. Whereas this, I believe, you can put about anything in it, it's a, and yeah. it'll just do it for you. You know, okay. you can take it off your your cell phone, just put it down, and it'll it'll convert it. I yeah. say it's much needed. Thank you, Rick. <clears throat> yes. First of all, it's nice to meet you. I don't know if I've met you before. No, um, I, no I don't think so. I've been kind of hiding in my <laughs> own, <laughs> room over here in the basement, yeah. and just doing my thing. Well, good <laughs> to have you on board. It looks like Thank you're doing you. a good job. Um, and uh, and Brian, you do a great job well, keeping this you. all going and making it what it is. Um, uh, the only question that I have is, it's nice that we have this money now, but you know, do we really know how long this, we're going to be getting the same amount of money that we're getting today? Because a lot of people are giving up Comcast. Right. I'm one of them. And a lot of right. people are getting antennas. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> And I hear about it constantly. In fact, I finally went that way too. And the uh, the uh, picture and everything is better. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I just wonder in the future. And first, I cut down to a smaller package. And I realize we don't always. I don't think we get a percentage of the uh, internet, do we? No, sir. No. Yeah. So, and a lot <clears throat> of people are switching from the internet. So who knows? We might not always have quite as much money, but I think if we use it wisely, it will be a good thing, and uh, people are very happy with uh, with Channel 22. I think they'll be happier yeah. with uh, the sound so It's a great yeah. thing. It looks a lot better as the years have gone by, right. so thank you. Mary Louise? Um, this sounds great. So the life expectancy when you set this system up, three to five years? Ten years. Actually, more more of like seven to ten years for for there there's sort of in the industry there's sort of three levels of equipment yeah. if you will, and that is consumer equipment, mm -hmm. three to five year. Prosumer equipment, which is sort of the where we're we're actually landing here with okay. our requirements, um, which is more to, more in lines with professional but not quite there um, and that's anywhere from five to ten seven to ten usually okay um, and then broadcast equipment which um, in some cases to be quite honest with you my background is uh, NASA I had some equipment that was 35 years old oh wow well that was, sounds hopeful by the way mr. Cantor it's nice to meet you um, what are you gentlemen thinking in terms of microphones? Because sometimes at some meetings, some of the individuals kind of go back, go to sleep a little bit, and they're about three or five feet away from the microphones. Training. What are you? What training kind people of? to to stay up front? Uh, we've we've gone from 
And you know, we've gone from these. We're going to go back to these, I believe. So we're we're going to go back to that. This is yes. what's being back recommended. To we've like gone from those to lapel yeah. to these, trying to find the perfect. And these work good. I'm not, they, they, <coughs> so you can lean back and go to the side. But we just have to train you know, everybody to stand up and talk into the mic if they possibly can. Mm. Yeah. And not, not lean back and not... Mm. Yeah, take a nap occasionally. We have the individuals come in under public comment, as as you know, and they stand up at the podium and use the microphone. Sometimes they're kind of little; they're not as tall as their their fellow man. Um, is is the microphone setup going to be the same there? It, we'll just have to remind them to pull it down, or yeah. Yeah. there's yeah. nothing that's going to automatically yeah, adjust no, itself. Nothing. Good. I was, I you was can get, to be quite honest with you, they have out in, the, uh, out in the industry, they actually have podiums that will raise and lower. Oh, that's um, neat. But okay. uh, can Louise. you really <laughs> justify that, that kind of uh, cost up. here? <laughs> yeah. Probably not. No, she'll do it. <laughs> you know. um, okay. Facebook, which I detest and I will never go on, but we <laughs> have on the website... Uh, a little thing that says, you know, like us on Facebook. Can we get rid of that? Is that any risk to us as a system? What? You don't have anything to do with that. Right? Yeah. Oh, but they're telling no. us on, on your website. Oh, to like us, yeah. To like us on Facebook. That, it's on the town uh, website. That's just on the more, town's website. That's yeah. not on the channel 22. No, yeah. that's yeah. Something oh, different but it's not. So that doesn't go through no. you at all. Yeah, as, as a matter of fact, um, for what it's worth, I, I sort of looked at the system as I designed it um, and, and put the specifications together with the, with the thinking that, you know, we have a responsibility to try to bring in the younger crowd mm -hmm. um, to watch it. And um, some of this would have the capability um, down the road I don't think that, you know, certainly starting out, certainly with our staff, uh, the present staff that's in there that's, you know, mainly vol uh, older volunteer um, that all have jobs. Um, if we can bring in more student type of help, um, uh, people that are interested in getting in the, into the industry, mm -hmm. um, that we may be able to incorporate some Facebook type of, Facebook type of inputs yeah. tweets that kind of thing if you would you know it, obviously we would be looking closely at that yeah. um, to see how you would want to do it and how that would be handled free that would be up to you right? that's yeah. content so that's not up to us it's just a way of immediately well, getting to people but we can have those yeah. capabilities that's I've all. got Facebook stock Mary Louise well that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's great but I'm just concerned about the risk pot potentially of exposing uh, some of our residents who might sign on to that site through the town mm -hmm. and have some of their information compromised. I'm just, after all, they have the ability to not take it if they want to. They're right. showing you. Well, I mean, do I, don't, the news. I don't. I don't turn it on. Well, that doesn't have anything to do with the. Yeah. the, the yeah. Well, what we talk about here tonight. Right that would be done over. Uh, that would be part done of the at world today. Facebook. Right. I know, and it's a pretty sad part of the world. Uh, just, I just want to check because I had a little. Oh, um, I know, of course, Brad Jett worked for years with the cable, and uh, now Mr. Cantor is replacing him? Uh, yes. I mean, Brad was never, he was a, uh, uh, well, he did work, before I got here, he had a lot bigger yeah. role, and yes. I don't know what that was. I wasn't here. Yes, he's replaced, he's actually working during the day. We've never had anybody okay. here during the day. And Hope yes, he is replacing Brad Jett. Brad Jett no longer works. Giving him a nice title. Yes, you have right. a nice title and, and a lot of things to do, like putting this bid back. It's an impressive bid. I could have never done it, never, ever. So it's, Well, obviously, you know, you, you need help with the system, but uh, Brad is showing on the payroll report for the for he, 2017. He was. He was, as of the beginning of the year, he yeah. was done. So Mr. Cantor is now replacing yes. him. he so. started at the beginning of the year. Excellent. Okay, that's good. Well, this took a lot of good grief. Well, I think you guys have done a studying. great job at, at yeah. bringing this up. You know, we, we had the change a couple of years ago in the the Warren article to allow this to come up to us. I think it's well needed. I, I think, uh, you know, I just heard heard from uh, 
from a citizen. They were complaining about Channel 13, which has nothing to do with you, but they were complaining about the sound on it. It's been and on I for know, two weeks. And I know we've so had hard. sound problems with us. Yeah. Yes. And so I think, uh, I think by doing this, we'll, we'll upgrade this room. It'll be a much better place. So I'm looking for a motion. We'll make a motion that we accept the bids as the okay. for one, two, three, and four options. Yes. All four options. Okay. Yes. To do the whole thing. So I have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Unanimous. Good job, guys. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you very Any much. Any of the other Appreciate towns it. around here have uh, like a manager that gets paid most, fifty thousand a year? Hand Northampton, Seabrook, Exeter. Exeter has two. And, and is uh, it, do they get paid that kind of money? They they get paid more. They, like Northampton is full time, Exeter is full time, two people full time. So mm -hmm. so Northampton has somebody they pay fifty thousand dollars yes. a year to. That's correct. Mm -hmm. yes. um, they have in Bed, um, uh, Bedford. Uh, they actually have three people that three work at the station. For, for they have they have a quite a nice setup. But the yeah. also the thing is too, when you have people that are working like that more time, you can offer more programming, right. more. Yeah. Well, they have uh, also have public the access, there, public yeah. access yeah. which we right. don't have, and that's we don't. In want. Northampton, they do. No, Northampton, they don't. No, they only have one gentleman, and uh, he has some. He counts on students and such trying to get. And it, it, while I'm here, I'd like to say, if anybody's out there, senior citizens, retired people, if the, if you want to come and work, we're always looking for somebody. And also, I want to thank the uh, DPW for sending. Uh, uh, people down to help us move that console down. I really appreciate it because without them, we would have never got it, it down. It was a yet. monster. It was a monster, yes. Rusty, real quick. Yep. Um, so now we can watch the Mill Pond Dam being built right on 22. If we have people to do it. Yeah. If we have people, to, yes. We hope to have a, a person, a young guy that we've had for years, and that will be his job this summer Excellent. is to do go out and he loves it so and he's got he's got a great eye so yeah that would be something thank you, can you do. for all the work you've done this is scary for a civilian <laughs> it's well, a lot of work it's all it's all right so okay very good okay. thank you thank, thank you. you thank you fred